Hi, this is Bob. What I'm going to do today is give you a short tutorial on how to use League Play Utility. Now, using League Play Utility is necessary if you are going to continue to use uh, Baseball for Windows version 5.5 in leagues where the Commissioner uses 5.75. So uh, I'll go into the details and uh, then later you can ask questions. Okay, let's switch to Windows. Here's a Windows XP desktop. Down here in the what's called the system tray is the Dropbox icon. I'll click on that, left click on that one time and select open the Dropbox folder. What I'm going to do is go over to the folder that I shared the League Play uh, File Exchange tool. Here's the League Play Utility. And I'm going to select it. Double click on it. I go ahead and get this other out of the way. Now, the tool comes up with the Summer League already selected. Yours may not. If it does not, then you need to click on this Disclosure Triangle and scroll through the various uh, data disks that you have selected. Then make sure that you've got the Summer League selected, if that's what you're interested in, and which organization in the Summer League. All right. Now what we want to do is load the Commissioner file. You see that the buttons are active here. So I'm going to click on Load Commissioner File, and I get a standard Windows dialog box. Now, the current one has actually got it into my Dropbox. Let's just say what's probably more common with your situation is it will come up with something like this where uh, you're in the baseball for windows setting and probably looking something about like this nothing here for you what you have to do is use the windows uh, file dialog box in order to find your dropbox folder dropbox defaults into the my documents folder I personally have moved mine, but you may have to click on My Documents to find your uh, Dropbox folder. In my case, I'm going to click here, open up the C drive by double-clicking on it, and there's my Dropbox folder. So I open that up, and now I go to the Summer League folder. I double-click to open it. There's the Files folder. I double-click to open that, and there is the C file. I select it by clicking on it. Then I click on Open. It tells me it was loaded successfully. I click OK. That's all there is to it. All right. Now, what if you need to create a franchise file to send to the commissioner and put it in the Dropbox? One thing you'll want to do is set the franchise file option, options just like you do normally with version 5.5. So I click on that. You'll notice that it's got my folder listed in here, or excuse me, my team listed in here. Listed in here. I've got all of these checkbox marked because I want them all checked. And let's just say that I want to include the Rockies and the Giants. You, of course, want to include your own team. And you may want to include the Rockies and Giants, too, if you intend to play any of the uh, away games at the Lonesome Teams. So once I have my team selected, I click OK, and it says the franchise file options were saved. So now let's create the franchise file. I click on it. Notice up here, it tells me what my current folder is. It's in my Dropbox folder, in the Summer League directory, and in the Files directory. If I wanted to change it, I could click on that button, and then I could drill through the normal Windows dialog box to get there. Okay. I need to give this thing a name. So what I'm going to do is delete the uh, name that's in there now. You'll notice you can't delete the F dash, and you can write anything that you want. This is an example franchise file. Okay. I've got all of the boxes checked. I've got my franchise teams. Looking good, so I just click OK. Franchise file created successfully. And that is it. That's all you have to do. You load your commissioner file. Notice it knows what window, what uh, directory it was in, because you've taken it there once. 
and you create franchise files. It's pre-pointed at that Dropbox folder. You select, make sure your teams are selected. All you have to do each time is just change, you know, what you call it. Maybe results. Another one's created. And that's all there is to it.